Did you know a working battery was found that's older than Jesus? Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's a real archaeological discovery. In the 1930s, near Baghdad, Iraq, archaeologists unearthed a peculiar clay jar. It wasn't just any old pot. Inside, they found a copper cylinder, and inside that an iron rod. Even more intriguing, there were traces of an acidic substance, perhaps vinegar or wine. When they put the pieces together, they realized what they had, a galvanic cell. A simple, but fully functional battery. Now, our history books tell us that Alessandro Volta invented the first true battery in the year 1800, but this artifact, known as the Baghdad Battery, is dated to be over 2,000 years old. That's two millennia before official history says we harnessed electricity. This completely shatters our timeline of innovation. It raises so many incredible questions. If an ancient civilization had access to electricity, what were they using it for? The most common theory is for electroplating coating one metal with another, like silver onto copper. Imagine ancient artisans creating beautiful plated jewelry or religious artifacts with a gleam that seemed almost magical. It would have been a closely guarded high-tech secret of its time. But what if it was for more? Some fringe theories suggest it could have been used for medical purposes, maybe a primitive form of electroacupuncture. Or even for religious rituals to create a tingling sensation, making people believe they were feeling the power of the gods. It forces us to reconsider what we think we know about the past. Could there have been pockets of advanced knowledge that were lost to time? Think about it. What other technologies might they have developed that we haven't found yet? What other secrets are buried beneath the sand, waiting to rewrite our history books all over again? It's us a humbling reminder that our ancestors might have been far more sophisticated than we give them credit for. The past isn't just set in stone. Sometimes it's powered by a battery we're still trying to understand. What do you think they used this ancient power for? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy exploring the mysteries of the past, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.